to show you today is a celery leaf or leaf celery. Um, you may well remember that I did uh, plant um, some celery and it was doing very well. It was getting to about an inch, inch and a half tall, um, ready to put on to the next stage. And um, I came in one day and uh, into the greenhouse and they'd all gone. Uh, there were no silver trails over them, so um, I know that it wasn't slugs or snails, so I reckon it was some little fly that had got in and pinched them all. So I was a bit miffed, um, and by that time it was actually too late to sow any more, so I will have to try that next year again. Um, I have had this happen before with um, little peppers and chilies and tomatoes and things like that. So there's obviously some little fly that gets in and, um, and nibbles them, which I was a bit cross about. So anyway, I went to Gardeners World Live and I saw these lovely people and they're from Pennard Plants and um, I got some watercress from them which um, I'm, it's called landcress which I'm assuming it's exactly the same as my other one but I haven't sown it yet and um, they gave me this one as well which is leaf celery so basically um, it's celery but you just pick the leaves you don't get the bulb down the bottom um, so I'm going to show you how to sow this uh, we will put the website for Pennard plants on the bottom so that if you want to get some um, or have a look at what they've got then um, then do they're very very nice people they're lovely so um, I'll just show you how to sow this so basically I'm going to sow it the same as I would um, lettuce um, or the watercress I've done exactly the same way I've got um like a five six inch pot across I've just put it in some water just so that the water can soak up from the bottom if you just put some normal multi-purpose compost in there just push it down firmly if you want to water the top of that then do but I'm waiting for the the water to to soak up so it's that's fine either way it doesn't really matter and just get some seeds now these seeds are tiny tiny they're like cell um, they're like um, lettuce seeds actually but they're really really small oh, I hope you can see those look they're tiny tiny so I'm just going to sprinkle those on the top Sprinkle as many as you want on there, obviously not too many, otherwise they won't grow properly. Um, but just, just enough. And then all you do is you just then put some compost on the top of that, just a very thin layer. And we'll push it down, just gently tap it down. And make sure you label it. Um, I've still got loads left in here, so... Um, most probably when these have run out then I'll sow some more maybe in a sort of six weeks time or so so basically I'll just leave that in the in the tray in sort of in its little dish and it'll take about half an hour for the um, the water to soak all the way through the compost and you'll know when you know when it's wet enough because the top will change color and you'll be able to see but it will take about half an hour if you find that all the water is soaked up and the top hasn't changed color and it doesn't feel damp then water it a little bit more from the bottom um, so either way it doesn't really really matter but then you don't need to keep this in the in the greenhouse um, especially this time of year which is sort of actually with the first of July today um, leave it outside and um, when it starts to come through if you're concerned about slugs then do put some um, slug pellets or something to stop them on it but usually if if you're growing it in a pot it tends not to sort of attract the slugs because there's nowhere sort of that they can hide um, and once it gets to a certain size um, gosh it's very hot in here um, then they don't need to they don't worry about that um, but that's that's basically it but if you're sowing it in say March you can sow it from March all the way through to sort of September um, if you're starting it in March I would suggest um, that in March and April I would suggest that you sort of you grow it in the greenhouse um, just until it gets a bit warmer and then put it outside and if it's a cold night bring it back in but June July most probably the end of May um, and August I would suggest that you know just plonk it outside and then that'll be fine but I will show you that when it comes through um, so hopefully it won't take long a couple of weeks possibly okay well I look forward to seeing you soon bye bye <music>